Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Happy Friday to everybody. Today I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas and I'm just going to do a simple ring pour and I'm calling it it's a spring thing because I've chosen all happy spring colors here today. I'm looking forward to spring and thought I'd paint a nice bright spring uh, painting for everybody. And let's go over my colors. I've put down a light coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White 50% and 50% of the um, Easy Care Premium Decor Acrylic Enamel. And I am going to be adding that paint along with my ring pour. My next color is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. My next color is Amsterdam Vermilion. My next color is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. My next color is Artist Loft Green Yellow. And my last color is Blickrick Fire Red. I looked through all my red. I really wanted a fiery red, and this is the most red that I could find today. Um, to all my paints, I've added a dollop of Vallejo Pearl Medium. I really like using this product. It gives your paint a nice shiny look. I've also added to all my paints except my white base coat, Spot On Treadmill Silicone, one drop in each of the colors. And let's go over my pouring medium today. It's different. I've switched it up a little bit than my usual. 70% Elmer's Glue All, 30% water. And I can show you consistency here. It does leave a little trace. Takes just like a, just not even a second to disappear here. A little bit on the thicker side for the ring pour. I am going to be using one cup today and I've cut the, I didn't like the lip on this, so I cut it off. So let's get started. Filling my cup. I think I'm just going to put the colors down the side of the cup today. I like to keep it simple on Friday. Let's put some white in here. And add a little more white now. Back to the greens. A little more white. And I will end with my greens. It's a pretty full cup here. Okay.
just a simple ring pour in the middle. I think I'll have plenty of paint for this painting, for this canvas. Okay. And I did get my ring off center here, I see. It's okay. I think I will torch it here before we get started. And I am going to start tipping here. And we'll just start by going in a circular pattern. Get the paint off that edge. And I will go for this corner now. And bring it back. to try and bring that back more into the center for this okay and now I'll try for this corner over here and bring it back And now I'm going to try for my last corner here. And because I did use that white enamel, we may see like a, a little bit of a cloudy effect here today with this painting. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here a minute. And I'm going to tip some more of this green off here in the middle. To try and stretch these, this out a little bit more. And I'm also going to tip some more off on this end over here.
and bring it back. This is not your typical ring pour as I did lose like the center, but but that's okay because what I have left, I'm very happy with here. Just gonna take another look at it. I'm going to try and tip just a little bit off this far end over here. I want to keep the stripes, but I, I do want to get rid of those really, really big cells there. And bring it back. And I'm going to try the same thing over in this corner. Just going to take a little bit of that off. And bring it back. And I'm going to take another look at it. I see something here. Take that out. Tip it a little way this way. Okay, I'm going to clean off the bottom now and check my corners. certainly does look spring in this painting. I think I'm going to try and just tip a little bit off down in that area there, right in the middle. And bring it back. Yes, I'm happier with that now. Really stretching out that the green in there, getting some nice lacing. And maybe I'll even take a little bit off down at this end. Bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy with that.
just going to clean off the bottom here again since I did so much more tipping. And I will give it one more torch. And I can see a lot, a lot more cells coming up here. Just going to let it sit here a minute to let the cells come up. And I will get you down for a close-up. This is the upper left hand corner and I really like the red how that that came through those red lines right there and the sat and the satin enamel that I used or the gloss enamel it's giving it that effect right there you can see Lots of cells coming up here today, just from the silicone that I used. And here is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. Very pretty in here. And again, I just love that red and all the lacing that we got. Up in here. This is the upper right hand corner here. And I love the red in here. Give you a close up of that. Very pretty. It's very nice in here too. And this is the lower right hand corner down here. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And if you haven't yet, please check out our Etsy shop where we do sell a lot of our paintings and the link to it is in the description along with all our other social social media uh, links and until next time take care everybody be safe bye for now